Pro Football Talk came out and said, uh, it's, it's being reported or he's hearing in different circles, that the NFL could force Stephen Ross to sell the Dolphins for offering $100,000 per loss to Brian Flores. Now, I'm curious about this because I think that you would have to have proof, etc. But the NFL has also proven that they can do whatever they want to, whenever they want to. But I would imagine, again, Ooh, there will the be owners. lawyers. Not with the owners, they, not with the owners, they can't. Um, I, I, I would, I, I think this is a gross exaggeration of what, what, what could happen and what will happen. Um, you know, I guess they use the word "could," so they they get to buy themselves a whole lot of grace and a whole lot of uh, uh, possible forgiveness there, um, because we didn't say it would happen; we said it could, and anything could fucking happen. But th- that's just not that's just not how this thing goes, okay? Um, and everyone points to the Jerry Richardson situation in uh, Carolina. Jerry Richardson was barely the majority owner, barely the majority owner, fifty one percent, and that was it. And he was ready to get out, and he didn't want to go through the fight of the sexual harassment scandal. Agreed. And so he left on his own. The NFL never forced him whatsoever. Look at the shit show going on in Washington right now. And all of – I mean, we got Congress getting involved in Washington, and Dan Snyder is nowhere close to being thrown out. Okay? So if you think they're going to throw this guy out for this, even if they got an email from his email address straight to Brian Flores saying $100,000 – that's not throwing game. That's I need. We need to lose. Tanking is part of sports, and everybody knows it. Okay. Agreed. Uh, now, agreed. if you're throwing point spread, that's different. Nobody's gotten caught doing that. Nobody's close to getting caught doing that. Okay. But tanking is a part of professional athletics. It has been for a long, long time, and trying to enforce that is just a futile, futile problem. Other owners who have tanked in the past, somebody, if that's the case, somebody better get on the phone with the the commissioner's BFF in there in Philadelphia and say, tell me about week 16 last year when you knowingly pulled the better quarterback for a worse quarterback so you could lose, so you could get the better draft pick. Somebody somebody <laughs> better tell me about that. Is that guy better be important? So you got other owners that are going to stand up and say, "We ain't making him sell. We're not voting. We're not pulling that trigger." Oh yeah, the the tweet from Pro Football Talk uh, said there is a belief that the NFL will eventually conclude that Stephen Ross did indeed offer Flores a hundred thousand dollars per loss in 2019. If that happens, Ross could be forced to sell the Dolphins. And then right after that, he said, "There's a sense emerging that Ross will claim he was joking. It may be his only hope at this point." And there's there's a whole article about it over at PFT. That's not his. Hey, hey I assure you, that ain't his only hope. This is pro football talk. I'm not a big pro football talk fan. That totally I think makes they sense. Do stuff like this. I think they do this shit all the time. There, there's some of the there's some great NFL journalism out there. I think pro football talk is is one of the worst. I think Mike Florio is one of the worst out there. I think these guys sensationalize things. And they, they push for things that they want. Listen, the biggest problem the NFL has right now is not tanking. It ain't close to tanking. The biggest problem they have is black coaches not getting a fair shake. And you got an owner that back-to-back has, has hired two black coaches, two minority coaches. So let's be real quick before – I know we fired one of them. But let's be real quick before we just put a bullet in that guy, okay? Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, you got Florio, a bunch of other owners it's- that ain't hiring any of them. It, it's really crazy that, that Florio has turned into this, right? I know. I That's know. Just nuts. He used to be a legit newsman. And oh. now this guy is, is, is an extremist at every angle. He just, all he sells is sensationalism. Every time you turn around, that's what he's got to sell. And, and all of it's BS. That man hadn't put a legit story out in a long time. Now, you're probably not wrong about that. All so, right. I just uh, don't respect it. I don't believe it's going to happen. <laughs> don't even think it's going to come close to happen. We we shall see. I'm curious about it. I I agree with you. Uh, I don't think the other owners are going to let him do this, but we shall see. We shall. See. I guess it all kind of depends on what everybody else thinks about Stephen Ross, right? I don't think it's got anything to do with Goodell or anything like that. I think it's uh, no. It's yeah. It's got a, the other. Convince me that the other 31 owners want to do this because I assure you, many of them have tanked and then. What, what happens if, if news of my tanking comes out? You think the Arizona Cardinals owner wants that news coming out? Because they tanked for Kyler. 
You think, you know, yep. we got a couple of teams that tank over the past. You, you think these other owners want that information coming out? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.